We've identified what a fraction is and how to separate it, correct? All right. So if I was to give you, right, one fourth, okay, that's right here. Everybody draw a dot on the one fourth on their whiteboard on that space, okay? Really? If I was to give you the one fourth, right? So we're only, we're only adding like fractions, but we're going to add. So if I said, what is one-fourth plus, right? So it's got to be like fractions, so the bottom's the same, okay? And I was to give you no, that was two, okay. and then I drew an equal sign. So it's one-fourth. Everybody has their dot here, okay? Go over how many spaces? And what do you get to on there? If you start right here, right, Ellery? And you go over the two spaces, see the two? You go over two, one, two, what do you have? Three fourths. That's how you add fractions using a number line. Your bottom number stays the same. You don't touch this. This four is still four. There's still four total pieces, okay? But your top one becomes three fourths. Just like if you had this right here, right? Okay, so I have a visual model. How many pieces? One, two, three, four. How many are shaded? One. One, right? And I'm adding, okay, I still have four pieces. Okay, still four pieces, but how many are shaded? No? Two, right? I still have four pieces. How many total are shaded? One, two, three. Can we see that? Three fourths. That's how you can add either using a number line that you have in front of you, or you can do a model if you're not sure. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hand out a sheet. We're going to see. Okay. Well, time to get your cap on. Get your cap on. Okay. I want you to leave your notes out though, so you can use your notes if you have any questions. Also, what's on the board? No, leave it there. So you have it. You don't have to erase it yet. You can leave what's on your whiteboard for help. And also your notes and what's on the board is going to help you. Yes. I'm going to walk through the first point with you, okay? And I'm ready to write. You ready? So if you've got it, you can go ahead and start working on it. If you want an example, look up here, okay? Miss Tripp, I have my pencil. All right. So I'll leave that one up there. So we have two fifths, right? That's our first problem. From there, Jackson. It says plus your first problem. See it? Right here. So you have two fifths, right? And it says plus three fifths. What's our bottom number? We don't change it. So it stays five. Okay? So then you add your two and your three. So three, add two more, is four, five, right? So that's five out of five, but it's also one, because that's one whole. Yeah, we have to add it. The correct answer is eight. So when you're working on it, you realize that this bottom number, it doesn't change. That's the total amount, okay? So you're going to draw your line. Always is going to be the same. Okay. Always going to be the same. Okay. 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 So put your five on the bottom, just like that. We want to start adding. Okay. So you say, what number is what? Yep. Always the same. And then you add these two. So if yeah. you have two and you're adding, how many do you have total? One, two, three, four, five. So five. So five over five. Okay? All right. You can use your whiteboard to work out the problems. Okay. Come here. You. Okay. I'm doing a good job. Look at that. Keep going, Jim. Two, three. Four, five. 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 Five
What's the bottom number? Sure. Oh, I'll read it here. It is sharp. What's the bottom number? Okay. Just to review, in our lesson today, right? We learned the bottom number represents the what? Look at your look at your notes. What's our bottom number represent? The whole, right? And our top number is the part. So it's a part of the whole. Okay? So a fraction is when you are splitting an object into more than one piece. Okay? Nine, nine, what is in the bottom? Go ahead and keep working. Nine, nine, what is in the 